In this episode, I hook onto the biggest fish I've ever caught from the surf. I got one! Look at this fish! Here's where we left off. We arrived in Montauk, New York, and went to Polly's Bait Shop to talk to expert Mikey about what to use and where to go. He told us to go to the lighthouse, so we did. We checked it out, we saw some pretty freaky stuff, and we started fishing, and we hooked up on a nice looking blue fish. First fish of the night. So we decided to stay into the night. So we've been here for about three, three, four hours with not a single bite, didn't see any bait fish um, until, uh, took about a 15 minute break, then my mom and sister came, probably brought me some good luck. Uh, I managed to land a pretty decent sized bluefish. So we decided we're gonna stay a little later into the night. It's gonna be a little dangerous, um, but we're gonna do this for you. So we're fishing under the huge full moon and it's pink and gorgeous and it's very bright. And we heard from Mikey at the bait shop that you can catch the most striped bass at night. So I'm fishing the surf right now and um, how Montauk is is like, the area I'm fishing is a lot of flats, um, rocky flats, and you go out and find a rock, and you stand on that rock, and you cast out either a bucktail, a piece of tin, a popper, any kind of top water, work really well, and um, we're hoping that a fish will come up and just slam it. So something Mikey also said was that these fishermen were known to pick a rock and swim out to that rock and spend all night on that rock to the point of even sleeping on it until their tide came back in. I was talking to a local earlier about night fishing and what he said is if you can cast your lure and work your lure with your eyes closed then you'll be okay. So you really have to know how to use your lure without seeing. Granted I have one of these uh, very bright headlights. Um, it's still very hard to see out there and you gotta be careful or you're gonna get hurt. Pizza party. Pizza party up the beach. Impromptu pizza party. We decided that we're gonna call it, call it a night. Kind of freaking me out a little bit. I fell a couple times, got pretty soaked. The water- I'm really tired. Yeah, I'm really tired too. We've been up since, we've been up since five o'clock and it's, it's like 10, 11 o'clock right now. And um, night fishing is hard. We did manage to pull one fish up uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to be heading to the same area, to the south side of the lighthouse. Today was a really bad day of fishing. Only landed one fish this entire day. Maybe we just suck, but that's just how it goes. Regardless, this is something I definitely wanted to experience, and it was, it was fantastic just being on top of the rocks, on the water with the full moon. It was crazy. So stay tuned for more. Tomorrow we're going to be fishing the south side of the lighthouse. So the next morning, we woke up before the sun got up to try again for some fish. And it was incredible to see this huge sun rise over the Atlantic Ocean like that. I mean, it was just so gorgeous because Montauk points directly east. It was an unforgettable sight unique to this location. So I'm feeling pretty pumped this morning. And uh, I, I walk out to the surf and I've got my plug and I'm just casting into the sunrise and it's honestly, it's the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. I'm looking around and no one else is catching a single thing. I've been asking around and no one has caught anything. Regardless, no one catching anything, everyone still seemed to be enjoying just the sheer beauty of nature. Hey guys, welcome to day two of fishing. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning right now. The sun is just rising. Bunch of fishermen out here and um, back of the lighthouse. So no one's catching anything all day and we waited for a couple hours and we decided that we're gonna walk over to the south side of the island which was an adventure that we had been waiting to go on. So we've been trying on the north side all morning and we haven't gotten any bites so we're gonna walk over to the south side. According to our uh, our guide Mikey from Polly's bait shop yesterday he said that if they're not biting on one side, most likely they're biting on another, so... Let's give it a try! Alright, so here's the spot that I keep seeing on YouTube, I keep seeing online. Um, this is the spot that kind of scared me when I was watching YouTube videos. And it's the spot where everyone is standing on 
the rock face with the waves pounding at them. Um, and it just looks really dangerous. Let me tell you guys something. Seeing these rocks from a distance and being on top of them is a completely different story. I was so terrified because these rocks are covered in ocean spray. They're covered in uh, wet, slippery water. So one wrong step and I could have plunged to my death. I'm, I'm trying to traverse this rocky, slippery ground, and there are so many fishermen all over the rocks. It's in, kind of intimidating to be walking this path that the locals kind of claim as their own. So at this point, I'm feeling kind of dizzy and a little bit nauseous, but then I see oh how beautiful Turtle Cove is, and it just made the whole trip worth it. It was totally worth it to walk to the other side and just see how gorgeous Turtle Cove was. Right now we're in Turtle Cove and we're on the south side of the lighthouse. So we heard about Turtle Cove before from a family friend of ours, but we were also hearing it from a lot of the locals in the area. So we've heard that a lot of really big fish come out of Turtle Cove and we had to get out there and give it a try. One of the funny things about Turtle Cove, something that I think is so unique to, uh, I guess, New England beaches is, you know, it's really rocky. So these rocks get eroded and they tumble around and they get really smooth and round and, you know, about the size of your palm. So something that's really funny is when the waves, you know, they come in and out. When they go out, you just hear like this suction-y kind of sound and you just hear like this this low rumble, that's all the rocks rolling around on each other. It's a, I've never heard anything like it. It's fantastic. <laughs> so at this point, we haven't caught anything all day. We're feeling pretty bad about ourselves, so we decide to walk down the coast. And when we get there, we see a bunch of birds. And they are feeding on bait fish, and we know that that means big fish. And all of a sudden, people on either side of us start hooking up on fish. So my dad was the first one to hook up on a fish, but I knew that if he caught one, there was a lot more right under him. I cast mine out, and the second it hits the water, BAM! I got one! I hook Woo! up onto a huge bluefish, and it's pulling me really hard, and I'm balancing on a rock, and I'm trying not to fall, I'm getting hit by waves, and it feels like it's pulling me into the water. I'm afraid I'm gonna slip the whole time, but my adrenaline was going crazy. It was like I was hooked up on a freight train. All right, baby. Come on, baby. Open the bow, please. Check it out. What kind of fish is this? This is a bluefish. It's got very sharp teeth. It'll tear about anything up. It'll, if, you had, if you stuck your finger in there, it'll rip it off. Wow. It's got very strong jaws. Two hours now. Around that, right? Would you say, Aaron? about an hour and a half um, with no action in the first hour. Then all of a sudden some birds start swarming in and I know that's a telltale sign of uh, fish around and I know that's big fish around. So what I did was I switched it to a popper, a topwater uh, lure that will imitate a bait fish trying to escape. So I did that and bam, got a big old blue fish. Bam, my dad gets one and they're just all over the place. Everyone is catching fish right now and it's crazy. Half the people catching fish here just are catching it like no big deal, like oh, I don't care. 
But like for me, this is like a new experience. Um, and this is what honestly what I came here for is really exciting. Um, the crazy part is I'm like wading out up to my stomach in the ocean right now. And it's, it's pretty, uh, it's kind of scary. But now that my adrenaline's going, I feel like I'm Superman. I don't really, I don't really care. Just hooked up on another big blue fish, but it completely just snapped my line. I didn't, didn't, I didn't have a fighting chance. Um, nothing I can really do about it. I don't have any steel eaters. I'm just gonna give it another try. Montauk was an absolute whirlwind of a weekend. I wish we could have spent more time here. Yeah, two days does not do it justice. That's always the most frustrating thing is just hearing how many fish are here and then coming here and once we finally figure out what to do, we have to leave. I've never seen so many surf fishermen gathered in one area before. Yeah. It was very cool. Very Being here and wading out into the water and finding a rock and just casting while the sun rises is, is surreal. It's something I've never experienced and I had a great time. And something I want to come back and do, definitely. We're going to be heading to Pulaski, New York next, which is in upstate New York, to fish the Salmon River. Uh, I've always wanted to catch salmon. Me too, I've always wanted to, uh, yeah. With our channel, our goal is to get you guys to get out there, go fishing, get on an adventure. I got a comment this week saying you got me back into fishing after 15 years of not fishing. You got to be telling us these kind of things because this is what keeps us going. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to us because we put these videos out every Friday. Yeah. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.